Mercer and the Arctic Winter Games. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. We are back with another Canadian reaction video. This one was suggested to me by one of my members on Discord. Shout out to Q Thought. Oh my gosh, I have never heard of the Winter Arctic Games. Really looking forward to getting into this, seeing what antics Rick Mercer gets into. He's just absolutely hilarious. But before we do, guys, please make sure to jump on, smash the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for all future live streams and videos. Okay, let's get into it. Rick Mercer and the Arctic Winter Games. Let's roll. Wow, yellow knife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, looks the so torch cold. of the 2008 Arctic Winter Games! It has a torch, too! Welcome to the capital city of the Northwest Territories. This week, over 2,000 athletes, coaches, and artists gather from as far away as Alaska, Russia, Greenland, and across the Canadian North, right here yeah. in Yellowknife, the sunny south of the circumpolar world, for this, the 2008 Arctic Winter Games. <laughs> straight off the bat it has its own torch and has like 2,000 people from Russia from Alaska from like heaps of places where it's obviously cold and there's heaps and heaps and heaps of snow this is really really cool man how does the rest of the world not know about this and and like I said I did some research it happens every two years it's happened this year already in 2024 it was held in northern Alaska. And next year, it's going all the way back to Canada, to Whitehorse. So, yeah, really, really cool. So, the video we're watching now was from 2008 um, in Yellowknife. How beautiful does Yellowknife look? And obviously, Yellowknife was um, hit by the horrible, horrible fires this year. Don't know how things are going there. I'm hoping things are a lot better now with the fires under the control and, you know, people starting to rebuild their lives, their houses, um, you know, animals being able to be released back into the wild and stuff like that. Guys, in the comments, let me know. But, yeah, and who's been to the Arctic Winter Games as either a participant or just watching in the crowds? In the comments, let me know. Is that okay, that we're just here, one of the many venues, St. Joseph School. This is the Inuit Games that are happening here this morning. There's uh, there's at least four or five events. I'm not really sure what they are, but uh, that's my <laughs> job. I'm gonna figure it out. Can you explain this game to me? There's a seal hanging on a on a string, and the idea is you're gonna kick it. Yeah. Oh, that's that knee high one. <laughs> What's your first event? Kneel jump. Can you show me a kneel jump? Yeah. There you go. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Slap the seal. <laughs> good job. I stick my elbow in my groin. <laughs> Just go and slap that seal, Rick. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you right now. These knee things and these jumping, no, no, thank you. Not for Aussie Tash, absolutely no way. <laughs> I did read that some of the activities and some of the sporting and events and stuff they do are based on like ancient hunting techniques and stuff like that. So I can see this, I can see what's happening here. This is really, really cool, man. And you can see why... It hurts already. <laughs> uh, I think the seal's gonna live. These are my pins. <laughs> What's happening here? Will two RMR pins give me a Yukon pin? Sure. You don't seem happy with that deal at all, do you? How about three? Okay. <laughs> Four. There you go. What are we doing here? We're we training okay, pins Someone or something. Someone said you're the guy with the thumb. Yeah? Yeah. Put your hand out like like this. Yeah. And you're going to twist it up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. How fast? 
fast can you type your name with your thumb? <laughs> Not that fast. Uh, that's, a, that's my only thumb trick. No. You know, visiting Yellowknife is a bit like visiting the future, especially when you look at that. Welcome to your future, Canada. Ah. Wow, this is a tent. Look That's not that. bad, Canada. Oh, what a cool tent. OK, now I'm a little confused by the sport. Can you just explain it to me? It's called the stick pole. The There's stick a grease pole. stick. Yeah. What's on it? Um, lard. So the idea is to make the other guy's hand slip off. Slip off or hold it past your hip 15 seconds. What's he doing there? <laughs> Greasing the uh, stick. He's greasing. Beautiful technique, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. Really nice right. technique. Oh. OK. You ready? No. You ready? What yes. The... Okay, now pull. So now we switch hands. Yeah. Just to make it interesting. Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Keep your feet on the ground. What? Keep my feet on the ground. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Emotionally or physically? Oh. Okay. okay, you ready? Pull. Oh. <laughs> now we did it two out of three. Congratulations on the gold medal. Thanks. And now I bumped into Wendy Bizarro, who's the vice president of the host society here at the Games. Hello, Wendy. How are you? I'm very good, Rick. How are you? Just, <laughs> let's just talk about the Games for starters. How many athletes in total? There are about uh, 1,900 participants. That's so Ooh, cool, That's man. a phenomenal number, Yeah. Right? Yes, it is. It includes athletes. It also includes cultural participants. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of arts going on as well. There's there's visual arts. There's uh, there's some throat singing, right? Absolutely. There's a very huge cultural uh, proportion portion to this game. Okay, throat singing. I'm not quite too sure what that is. I'm still a bit, <laughs> do I say, disturbed about that whole stick thing that was happening. <laughs> But I can see what they're doing, so that's really, really cool. <laughs> but they lube it up as well. They grease it up, and the one with the most slipperiest hands, if you lose the stick, you're out. Okay. <laughs> this is really, really cool, man. There needs to be some rights in Australia to watch the Arctic Winter Games. I reckon we'd actually enjoy it a lot. I think it'd be really, really cool. Seeing dots. <laughs> <laughs> you have to breathe in and out. Like you breathe out. And then breathe. Yes. I'm going to have ba ba ba. That's what I'm doing. Yes. I don't think I'd make it on Greenland Idol. <laughs> So we're all standing here on the ice, and we're going to learn about something called the, uh, the what's it called? The, the something. snow snake. The snow snake. And is the this the snow, snow snake? snake. Yep. Try to balance okay. it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And just like, just like if you're throwing like a ball a spear? in here, but you're throwing it under your hip like this. Okay, okay. Bobby. Okay, with the snow snake, you try to get it down as far as you can. That's cool. The snow snake. That's yeah. cool, man. And Marie's I like lesser that. known hit. Okay. I'm just gonna wing it. Wing it. All right. Okay. Let's go, Rick. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can just see the super slow motion of Rick throwing his little snow snake. It didn't go too well. It didn't glide along the top of the snow. It was just, it was, it was bad. It wasn't good. <laughs> but I can see. Let's wrap this one up, guys. You know, the room looks like a snake. That's not too bad. It's good. We're eating tonight. Yeah, we are. We're eating good. Now I have to go do something called the airplane. This is the pride of Team Nunavut, Larry Nullenyuk. Hello, Larry, how are you? How's it going, Larry? Fine. You won silver in the airplane. Yes, thank you. The airplane looks like the hardest thing oh, I've ever seen in my life. Oh, this is the airplane. Yeah. How do you train for this? I don't, I don't really train for it. I just, I just uh, it's go like hunting and hey. stuff like that. You just hunt? Yeah. <laughs> oh, unbelievable! That's phenomenal! I don't hunt. I type. 
<laughs> so we'll see how far I can get. I I've didn't understand on this one. Like this. <laughs> Is this going to hurt my landing gear if I fall? Uh, <laughs> three, two, yeah. Get off the ground. <laughs> Thank you. You're you, sir, are Superman. From the Arctic yeah. Winter Games with Superman. Yeah. All right. The airplane one. You, you're going to have to use your own upper body strength to lift yourself up at the same time. No way, no how. That is not going to happen. I think to be successful at the airplane, you'd probably have to be um, small like thin you could be tall but and obviously you're gonna have to have that upper that strong upper body strength i don't have that so yeah i'm gonna pass on the airplane i would give that snake one a go and see how that goes that would be pretty cool but yeah guys i have come up oh, yeah <laughs> there you go all right guys there you have it rick mercer in the arctic winter games this is a really really cool and traditional concept man there is a lot of respect in the events that are hosted in these games and i absolutely love it i love that it's kept on going through all these years mate that had two awesome all right guys that was the video for today if you liked it please jump on smash the like button leave a comment and of course remember to subscribe that really helps the channel out cheers to man under take care bye